This is my version of a glass bottle bird feeder. As you can see, it works out pretty well. Uh, my design, the, the bottle is upside down, and you'll see why in a little bit. The requirements for mine were that it's going to be cheap, not have moldy seed, and that it would be durable. Now, other people have done this first, but their designs, they have the bottle the regular way, and then they put some sort of uh, plate on the bottom and glue it on. My problem is that I did this and I would get water in the bottom and the seeds would get moldy and also would collect and it would weaken the glue and eventually the plate would come off and break. So mine's upside down and then I'm putting in a bunch of holes, two holes for a uh, perch and then two holes for the bird to eat through. Now there's some thought that needs to go into this before you make yours. Think about what kind of bird seed you're going to use that's going to affect the whole size. Uh, and then seed choice and, and design are going to affect uh, how you can keep pests out. Next you need to look into the tools you need. Now you could use carbide tips to cut holes in the glass, but I prefer to use these diamond crusted hole uh, saws that go right in your drill. So before you start making it, you need to come up with a design, draw it out, plan out how many holes you're going to have, plan out how many perches, uh, the size of the hole for feeding from, you're going to go anywhere from a quarter to three-eighths inch. Uh, you want those holes about an inch and a half, maybe two inches above the perch. And the perch holes that you drill are going to match the size of whatever dowel or twig you use. All right, so to start making one, I use a permanent marker to mark my holes, measure them out, make sure they're in the right place. On this one, uh, this design didn't work very well. I was going to have no perches and use the wire that I wrapped around the bottle to allow the birds to grab on and feed from, but the birds never really did that. So uh, don't do that, include a perch. Uh, I am going to show here how to drill the holes into the bottle using the diamond crusted bits. I've tried this a couple different ways but this is by far the easiest. Get some plumber's putty or some sort of clay or something, work it into a like a snake and then you're gonna build a little uh, wall around where you want to drill the hole and then you'll fill that little reservoir with water so that your diamond crusted uh, hole saw won't get too hot and you'll be able to use it for many, many holes. All right, fill the reservoir with water and you're gonna want to uh, practice this on a practice bottle a few times so that you get the hang of it. But you start at an angle to get a little notch in the glass and that'll keep it from skipping all over. And as soon as you get a little bit notch, you slowly tilt the drill vertical. And I don't press down, I let the weight of the drill do the drilling. And it'll eventually go right through. It only maybe takes 20 seconds or so. I do check to see if the edges of the hole are a little sharp. If they are, I'll try and hit it with a little bit of sandpaper or something to knock the edges down so that the birds don't get cut. Alright, so you drill your holes, run a perch through it if you want a perch, and then to get mine to hang, I wrap wire around it all the way around. Nothing fancy, I used two pieces and then kind of uh, wrap them along, intertwine them, and then once I get to the bottom of the bottle, or actually what will be the top of the bird feeder, I then connect them, twist them into a loop or into a hook.
while I'm finishing this, I'll talk a little bit about the seed that I use. Uh, I use either safflower, which the squirrels don't like to eat, or uh, black oil uh, sunflower seeds. If you use the black oil sunflower seeds, you're going to want to use 3 8 inch hole uh, for the birds to get it out. Even for the safflower, the 3 8 inch hole seems to work better. The uh, quarter inch hole might be a little bit too small. Now, even with this design, I somehow am getting water into the side holes where they're feeding from when it rains. So I recommend drilling holes into the uh, cap of the bottle so that any water that does accumulate in the bird feeder can drain out. I've had almost no moldy seeds this way, and that's a huge improvement. It's so much easier to keep the bird feeder clean. You can see the holes right here at the top of my uh, bottle. <laughs> 